Hey, hello everyone out there. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> hello, we're gonna have some fun here today. My name is Brad Bollinger. I'm the publisher of the North Bay Business Journal and welcome to our 14th annual 40 Under 40 Awards, recognizing outstanding young professionals in our community. Uh, once you give yourselves a virtual round of applause out there, I can hear it. I can, yes. I can feel the energy. <laughs> and you can see with me here on the screen, Ken Cunningham from Exchange Bank. I'll introduce him in a second. Uh, we have many former winners here with us as well. Um, there are some 500, more than 500, as you can do the counting since we're in our 14th year. So give them a virtual uh, round of applause as well, maybe a wave. So thank you to many former winners for being with us. It's been something, this particular award brings people back year after year. So we wanted to start off here with a little bit of fun to kind of set the tone. It's a famous Puccini aria, Nessim Dorma, which is translated, let no one sleep from uh, Turandot, very famous uh, opera. We've got to remade it a little bit for our times uh, Nessim and you guessed it, Corona. So watch the captain captions at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and cue the video. No Corona, no Corona. The days are getting long. My cabin is the stronger. All due to bad spit on my couch now. I must see in my pajama. some great fun. He even hit the high C, which is, of course, the pinnacle of, of, a, uh, of opera. So, uh, well, once again, thank you for being with us. We obviously couldn't be with you in person, which we would much prefer, but we were not going to let this 14th class of winners go by without recognizing you here in, in an event. On May 18th, we published uh, your profiles in, in the Business Journal. We're happy to have you here with us, some 300 registered uh, to be with us here today. So once again, a congratulations. So a little background. The nomination period for this year's 40 Under 40 was early this year, well before the shelter in place came to pass. And uh, winners have been selected only days before the shelter in place uh, came in. And we had a long discussion about do we proceed? And ultimately, we decided that recognizing and supporting young talent and leadership in our community was more important than ever, and it might even be a piece of what would lead our communities forward. Uh, it was a little risky, but it was so worth knowing uh, what we have here today uh, for you here this afternoon, some really wonderful stories. And I should say too that our 2020 winners uh, reflect the leadership that is required of our times. We have two 
individuals selected from homeless services. We have a hospital CEO, two uh, members of the city councils, a supervisor, and a young maestro who you will hear from later on. Let's give, again, all our winners another virtual wave. Congratulations to all of you. Please join me in thanking those companies and organizations and individuals who submitted nominations. There were nearly 200 nominations. I like to say you can't have good recipients unless you have good nominations and obviously a, a great outpouring and some great winners here today. Thank you. And a special thank to, uh, to our sponsors who stuck with us and put their energy into this crazy idea to do this virtually as a virtual event. And for their support, uh, we can make this free to attendees here today. So please join me in thanking our award sponsors, Kaiser Permanente, Redwood Credit Union, Sonic, and Spalding, McCullough, and Tansel LLP. Thank you to them. I'll give them a virtual round of applause. And our underwriter, who's been with us now several years in making sure that young people in our community are recognized. Uh, they've been, uh, this organization's been with us through earthquakes, fires, floods, and now this. So please join me in thanking Exchange Bank for being with us here today. So. Here's how it will go. I and other presenter, presenting responsors will say a little bit about each recipient. And then we've asked each of them to submit a 20 second video for the winners who chose to do so. So we'll, sh we'll show those. We asked them to answer uh, one of a series of questions such as what have I learned from this incredible time we're in? And we allowed a few winners to go just a little bit longer. And I think you will find as I did there's a lot of wisdom in their answers and uh, be watching. There's even a newborn, which you have to be watching. So each of our winners will receive a, a certificate by email uh, in the next few days and a $40, uh, we picked that number, a $40 gift card from Shandy Hospitality. So that thank you, Sanu is a, one of our previous winners. And we have something very special at the end of the awards, so please stay with us. Um, so now to help me present uh, some of the awards today, welcome Ken Cunningham's Assistant Vice President and Sales Officer at Exchange Bank. Please welcome Ken. Um, what do you think of all this, Ken? Uh, I, I'm delighted. I wanted to say to everybody, you can all sit down. I, I don't require a standing ovation. I'm just <laughs> happy to be able to be with all of you uh, once again. This is really an inspiring event because it really gives you that confidence in the next generation of business leaders and uh, community leaders in uh, Sonoma County and Marin and Napa, and it's all good. It's, uh, it's a wonderful event. Glad to be here. Good. As I uh, went through the videos, I found that uh, I wish I'd had that kind of wisdom when I was uh, <laughs> under, you know, in my 30s. So, uh, so congratulations. So, uh, so let's get started um, with our first award winner. Uh, please congratulate Daniel Backman, who's a principal at TLCD Architecture in Santa Rosa, and at TLCD's higher edu he is a TLCD's higher education practice leader, and he oversees a talented team at Education Studios. He builds relationships with clients and leads numerous exciting design projects. He also assists with firm management with a particular focus on people and culture. His greatest professional accomplishment was the successful renovation and reopening of Santa Rosa Junior College's Bur iconic Burbank Auditorium earlier this year, a $32 million uh, renovation on a beloved heritage building. And his uh, most important professional accomplishment in the last 12 months was partner, was a uh, uh, being promoted to principal and partner at TLCD. So uh, what he wanted to be when he grew up, uh, astronaut, of course, and then an archaeologist. And his, uh, his mom brags that she always knew he would be an architect because of his love of Legos when he was growing up. So please welcome. Hey, Daniel, you got a little bit to tell us. Hello, this is Daniel Backman from TLCD Architecture. I think what's going to change the most as a result of this pandemic is the way we communicate. We've already seen the way it's changed, how we say hello, how we meet with each other, and how we use technology. Uh, and there's so many challenges with that, but I'm hoping that we're gonna come out of this, uh, you know, learning from it and becoming more effective and better. Great. Okay. Congratulations. 
All right, congratulations. Our next uh, awardee is uh, Jamie Benziger, winemaker at Imagery Estate Winery in Santa Rosa. She uh, strives to be a young, confident leader in her role to all generations she encounters and keeps pushing the limits in the wine industry. Uh, her single most important event in her professional life in the past 12 months, well, this is her second 40 Under 40 because she also, uh, Wine Enthusiast Magazine, uh, named her uh, one of the 40 Under 40 tastemakers in the wine industry. So uh, good for you, Jamie. You're, you're moving right along. Best place to work outside of her office, she says, is the vineyard. And uh, her mentor and most admired business person is her dad, Joe Benziger. And uh, Jamie had some very inspirational words for us. Jamie, like to hear them now. I know we are in extraordinary times right now, but I've learned that we're all in this together and we need to keep our heads up and keep moving forward. Our teams have really come together to not only keep making wine, but to also stay connected to all of our wine club members and consumers with the hope to bring some joy to them during this incredible time. It is now more important than ever to stay connected and to reach out. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you, Ken. Uh, our next award goes to Lauren Benward. She is a co-proprietor of Beltane Ranch in Glen Ellen. She manages the winery in and hospitality, designs and executes their marketing, farm experiences and plans for the future. And it's a multi-generational business uh, that's committed to uh, land stewardship, historic preservation, and a culture that is guided by, by their family. Your greatest professional challenge is maintaining historic integrity and tradition while implementing changes required to modernize a longtime family business. Best advice received, you need to hire help, for sure. And favorite book, Into the Wild, is her recent favorite, and she's most drawn to travel and adventure memoirs. The last vacation was her family visit of wine growers and innovative rustic hotel properties in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. It was game-changing, I'm sure life-changing as well. Please uh, join us as we listen to what Lauren had to tell us today. Hi, I'm Lauren from Belting Ranch. What have I learned during this incredible time? Well, uh, I've enjoyed approaching some of the challenges as opportunities. I've learned that when you have a great relationship with your team and you work together, that we can adapt. And it's kind of amazing to see what we can accomplish together. Thank you. All right. And uh, we are proud to honor today Carrie Berry, who is a partner at uh, Lincolnheimer in uh, Santa Rosa. Besides helping clients achieve success, helping staff succeed in their jobs and general administrative duties, Carrie is also part of the uh, development team. And as a part of this team, she's able to work closely with everyone in their office and help each person develop plans to meet personal goals and help define the firm's goals. Uh, she also is very active in uh, the nonprofit uh, community, uh, St. John CYO Girls Basketball coach. She's the room parent for the fourth and sixth grade at Alexander Valley School and a regular volunteer uh, for activities through Lincolnheimer. She says when she grew up, she initially wanted to be a teacher so she could write on chalkboards. Now she is an accountant and she writes on whiteboards instead, but it's close. Uh, Carrie didn't have a video to share with us, but she did pass along this message. I am so honored to have been recognized as one of the 40 under 40. Congratulations to all the other award winners. They're well-deserved. And uh, we thank uh, Carrie for that. Thank you, Car Carrie. Congratulations. Thank you, Ken. And our next recipient is Katie Virchland Boriolo. She is a workers' compensation judge for the Division of Workers' Compensation in Santa Rosa. And as a judge, workers con she presides over a daily court calendar, and her greatest professional challenge uh, is, that she is uh, as she faces the gravity of the outcome of her decisions. My decisions, she said, have real life consequences to the injured workers that appear before me. None of my rulings or decisions can be entered into lightly because they have drastic effect on people's lives. Her next professional goal is to become the first woman presiding judge at the Santa Rosa Workers' Compensation Appeals Board the industry board she dislikes the most is fraud, and uh, her favorite book is The Color Purple. 
she didn't have a video because, hey, we don't take videos of judges, right? But I'm for sure you do not want to appear before her in person. So congratulations to Katie and thank you for, for being part of our 2020 40 Under 40. Congratulations. All right, our next awardee is uh, Ezra Shaban, who is the Chief of Staff in the office of Senator Bill Dodd. Uh, he's in the Santa Rosa office and uh, he serves as Chief Policy and Legislative Advisor to the Senator and counsels the Senator on his legislative package and his votes on pending bills, drafts legislation and uh, amendments. His next professional goal, he states, is having a successful 2020 legislative session. And Ezra, we're all rooting for that one to come true. Uh, his uh, mentor and admired business person, he says his dad was a huge influence, but he gives honorable mention to Mr. Rogers and Harry S. Truman. That's a nice diverse uh, thing there, I like that. And uh, what do uh, your mom and dad brag most about you? I think my parents focus on the fact that I'm an attorney when talking to uh, friends about what I do, since most people don't really understand what my job entails, being the chief of staff of that office. He also shared some great thoughts with us. Ezra, let's hear those thoughts. Here in the North Bay, we've weathered fires, floods, and earthquakes. And as with those other disasters, the thing that strikes me most about this pandemic is our incredible community spirit. It's a reminder of what makes this slice of earth just so special. In times of crisis, we come together, and that's how we'll get through this together. Well, thank you, Ken. Ezra, thank you for that message. And I know your hardworking bosses works very hard for us over there in Sacramento. So how are we doing so far? I, you can tell this is moving like in a fast pace, and we've got a lot more to come. And to present the next award, please welcome uh, Diane Berthenaire, who's the Senior Vice President of Lending with Redwood Credit Union. Please welcome Diane. Hi, I'm Diane Berthenier, and I have the honor of presenting the 40 Under 40 Award to Nick Clay. Before I get started, I wanted to thank and congratulate Brad Bollinger and North Bay Business Journal for having such a great group of young professionals that are being recognized this year. Nick joined Redwood Credit Union about 15 years ago as a teller worked his way up to be a branch manager, and now we're lucky enough to have him manage our external loan officers for the mortgage unit. Nick is also a board member for CHOP's Teen Club and an ambassador for Metro Chamber. One of Nick's favorite books is The Leadership Challenge. It's mine too. It's one of the things that we all live by at Redwood Credit Union. It is so nice to have a young professional that has such passion to serve our members, employees, and community. On behalf of Redwood Credit Union, Nick, congratulations, and we're happy that you're on our team. Hey everyone, I'm Nick Clay, the External Real Estate Sales Manager at Redwood Credit Union. Thank you, North Bay Business Journal and RCU for this tremendous honor. Um, I'd also like to say to my family, friends, and colleagues, uh, we're in this together. It's all about how we respond to moments like this, and we need to continue to rise up and support one another. We'll get through this. Well, congratulations, Nick, and thank you so much, uh, Diane. Uh, I'd like to now go on to present the, the next award, and this goes to Erica Copenhaver, who's the president owner of Galante and Copenhaver in Santa Rosa. Erica is the managing partner, president, and owner of the business who sets the bar and standard that most prof professionals strive to achieve and, and as an active, participating, and contributing professional in our community. Her greatest uh, uh, per professional challenge is oftentimes working with family members in a trust administration that do not get along. This happens, believe it or not, and do not see eye to eye. Essentially, uh, she has to manage a multitude of personalities, exercise patient, act as a mediator, therapist, of course, and lawyer at the same time. The single most important event in her professional life in the last 12 months was bringing a female attorney into her office. Um, and there's a tight knit team. Uh, what she wanted to be when she grew up was a lawyer. She actually told, was told as a child that she was going to be a lawyer and much to her mother's happiness, she followed through. And the number one thing she wanted to accomplish by the time she was 40, paying off her student, uh, law school student loans. And her first job was uh, 
working as a guard, a skate guard at Snoopy's Ice Arena while she was in high school. Please welcome the Business Journal and all our sponsors for congratulating Erica Copenhaver. Congratulations, Erica. Hello, everyone. I just want to say thank you so much for having me be a part of this dynamic 40 under 40 group this year. I also want to say how amazingly proud I am of our business community and community at large for the resiliency we've shown in this pandemic. We truly are a wonderful community and group. Thank you so much. Very nicely said. Thank you. Yep. Very good thoughts. Next up, we are happy to congratulate Lorenzo Cordova. He is the aide to Supervisor Dennis Rodoni, uh, a member of the Marin County Board of Supervisors uh, in San Rafael. Lorenzo's job varies from day to day, but essentially he supports the supervisor in his role as the elected representative for District 4, which is the largest and most racially and ethnically diverse in the county. His next professional goal, interestingly enough, is I've been in the public sector for the majority of my professional career. As much as I enjoy working for the community, I am excited about the opportunities in the private sector. I believe there's a gap that our business community can fill in supporting our communities better. Uh, the number one thing he wants to accomplish by the time he turns 40 is to become a homeowner. Lorenzo, the rates are low right now. This would probably be a good time. So uh, congratulations, and let's hear your good thoughts. I want to thank our frontline workers, emergency responders, and medical personnel. Through their COVID-19 response, they have demonstrated that they are truly the backbone of our community to our local, state, and federal governments for their bold actions to address the needs of our community and to our small businesses and their employees for demonstrating the resiliency and grit. A huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well said, Lorenzo. Thank you, thank you Ken. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Heidi Desmond who's Assistant General Manager of all Park Point Health Clubs in Santa Rosa, Sonoma, and Healdsburg. Uh, Heidi works and assists the General Manager with project management to assure the smooth running of your health club. You certainly want that to happen, right? Because when you go, you want everything there. Her greatest professional accomplishment, she recently worked on a rebranding of the clubs, as well as major facilities refresh uh, that included improvements such as flooring, equipment, painting, and other enhancements enhancements it had it had worked very hard to make this vision come together in a short amount of time with a lot of variables i'm sure staff contractors together to make the project successful and to position the clubs for well into the future her favorite uh, after work drink is a pinot and her last vacation was a trip to hawaii for some r and r couldn't we all use that right now prior to that uh, she went on a hiking focus trip and visited Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, beautiful, absolutely beautiful place. Horseshoe Bend and other parks and sites in Utah and Arizona. Congratulations to Heidi and uh, here's what she had to say. Hi, this is Heidi Desmond from Park Point Health Clubs. Thank you North Bay for this acknowledgement. I want to express my gratitude to Bill Buchanan, club owner, as well as all of my Park Point coworkers as we continue to work hard to adapt and evolve during these challenging times. I'm proud to be part of such an incredible team. Okay, and they just keep on coming. Our next awardee is uh, Melissa Durlu, who is the Business Development Manager for Nelson Staffing in Santa Rosa. Melissa is responsible for the development of new and existing client relationships for Nelson Staffing. She uh, lists as her next professional goal, right now I am incredibly focused on helping Sonoma County professional women grow to be an organization that impacts as many as possible. I see this organization as meeting a huge need in our community, and I'm beyond thrilled to be helping to drive that vision. Her favorite place to work outside of the office is at the picnic table in my backyard in the sunshine, something many of us can relate to in today's <laughs> working at home. And a uh, favorite book she couldn't decide was either The Hobbit or Little Women, little diversity there in those two books, but uh, nonetheless, it, it, it just speaks to uh, Melissa's uh, style. And uh, she also wanted to share these wonderful thoughts with us. 
the message I have for our community right now, I can't take credit for because I stole it from a favorite podcast, but that is do whatever you need to do to feel better. However hard, go for the run, finish the stressful work project, call the person that's been on your mind, take 10 minutes out of your day to meditate, whatever that might be, do what you need to do to feel better. Well, congratulations, Melissa. I should go back and also congratulate Heidi from Park Point. Uh, two examples of terrific winners this year. It's my pleasure now to present the next award to Joe Dolan, who's a senior manager of customer marketing at La Tortilla Factory. And Joe is the main contact and liaison between headquarters and the national sales team, working to enable the team to reach revenue and profit targets. He partners with the sales team on customer calls, providing account and category specific insights, uh, high, uh, the best highlight and tell the La Tortilla factory story, which as we all know is a, is a wonderful, wonderful multi-generational story. His greatest professional challenge was changing from construction project management to sales and marketing in the, the consumer products uh, industry. In the single most important event in his professional life in the last 12 months, taking on additional responsibilities with a promotion to senior manager, customer marketing. New responsibles, uh, responsibilities include account management. His uh, hobbies, he's a musician, he plays guitar and piano, and he loves hiking with his wife, uh, J uh, Jasmine, and a dog, Lainey. And he also enjoys grilling year round. We have some good weather coming up for that. What he wanted to do when he grew up, he was going to be an architect and his favorite after work drink is Pliny the Elder. And this is the one I told you to look for. Here comes Joe with his little newborn. Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Dolan with La Tortilla Factory and I'm honored to be nominated and be selected as one of the North Bay's 40 under 40. One of the uh, most exciting things, the most exciting thing that's happened during all of this crazy time is my wife and I welcomed our first little son into the world. His name is Alfred Dolan. He was born on May 2nd. It's definitely been a different experience, but we're so excited to, to finally meet him. Well, congratulations, Joe, and to you and your family for the, for the newcomer. And we'll hope that Joe gets some rest sometime soon. It's yeah. it, it's bound to happen. He's just awake all the time now. So <laughs> Absolutely right. It. Yes. All right. Our next awardee is Victoria Fleming. The name probably is familiar to many of you. Victoria is the vice mayor of the city of Santa Rosa. And as a member of the city council, in conjunction with her colleagues, Victoria sets policy, direction, and votes on implementation based on recommendations from her staff. Her greatest professional uh, accomplishment, getting the citywide minimum wage passed, all electric reach code, and moving forward on the Southeast Gre uh, Greenway. Uh, the best advice received, she says, are two things. One, it's all capacity building. Win, lose, or draw. The experience builds your ability to be effective. And number two, once you have committed, put all of your energy into it. Uh, her most admired uh, business person and mentor is uh, Chris Corsi. Uh, her first job was as a camp counselor, and uh, her last vacation, she went to uh, Mexico City. And so we all congratulate Victoria and thank her for all the good work she's doing for us as vice mayor of Santa Rosa. Thank you, Ken, and congratulations, Victoria. It's my pleasure to present the next award to Marshall Graves. He's the vice president and senior commercial banker a wine industry specialist at Bank of Marin in Napa. A Marshall assists family-owned wineries in Napa, Sonoma, Monterey, Paso Robles, Santa Barbara with their financing need, including accounts receivable, vineyard development, winery construction, and acquisitions. His greatest professional challenge is ensuring that winery owners understand we are not just seeking a transaction. We take pride in engaging strategic conversations. Best advice received, and you gotta just think about this a little bit. If you are doing it for them, you will be fine. If you are doing it for you, they will know it, they will feel it, and they will not appreciate it. So when you're conducting a business up, make sure you know that you're doing it for your customer. Uh, his next professional goal is to enroll in the executive MBA program, the wine business program at Sonoma State University. 
and he's a father, uh, it's hobbies, he's a father, uh, baseball, go A's, uh, tennis, and cooking. So please join me in congratulating Marshall Graves. Good evening. Over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of time to reflect on what I believe is most important in life, and I've come to find that a very simple thank you or I love you to a family member or friend goes an extremely long way in such difficult times. I highly encourage you to do the same. A brief two-minute conversation can go a long way, and you never know how impactful it is to the to life on the other end. So remain positive, spread optimism, and we'll get through this as a community. Thank you very much, and have a great night. Great. That's a great message. Thank you, Marshall. Certainly Over to you, is. Ken. Okay, thank you. And uh, on our next award goes to another public servant. It goes to Logan Harvey, who is the mayor of the city of Sonoma. As the mayor of Sonoma, Logan presides over meetings with the city council and serves as the point of contact for most public communication. He meets with members of the public, the elected officials, local nonprofits, and members of our business community to hear their ideas and concerns. His uh, greatest professional challenge, he says, time management is a regular struggle. Not only am I the mayor of Sonoma, but I also have a full-time job working for Recology of Sonoma Marin. Best advice received, the best way out is always through. That's uh, from Robert Frost. And uh, his favorite afterward uh, drink is wine. And uh, we thank Logan for his uh, good work as the mayor of the city of Sonoma and congratulate him. Congratulations, Logan. Thank you, Ken. It's now my uh, pleasure to introduce to you Mark Lohr, who's the Director of Sales and Strategy at Sonic, to present the next award. Please welcome Mark. Hi, my name is Mark Lohr. I'm the Director of Enterprise Sales and Strategy at Sonic. It's my great pleasure to introduce Allison Hernandez, our Sales Operations Manager. Allison's primary responsibilities are managing our sales engineers, sales coordinators, and technical trainers which involves supporting our enterprise account executives and customers during all pre and post sales activities. She's also heavily involved in planning for Sonic's business fiber expansions, B2B efforts, lead generation, improving sales processes, and as a hub for most miscellaneous items that involve the enterprise sales team. Allison's greatest professional accomplishment is that even after 19 years, she's still very passionate and excited for every position and opportunity she's been given. Best advice Allison's received, don't miss out on something great just because it could be difficult. Single most important event in her professional life in the last 12 months is she was heavily involved in the accomplishment of us achieving quota in 2019. Also, she earned a spot in President's Club. Her most disliked buzzword is cloud. In the internet service provider business, I'm sure this makes her crazy on a daily basis. Her hobbies, she loves all things fitness, enjoys watching movies, listening to music, and traveling. What she wanted to be when she grew up was a social worker. First job, working at KB Toys while she was in high school. And her favorite book is Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. I'd also like to add a quick little story. When I first came to Sonic and started the enterprise sales team, Allison raised her hand and said she would join me in that endeavor. She also pulled me inside and said, Mark, but I don't want to be bored. I can promise you she's never been bored since we started this thing. Allison, thanks so much for all your contributions and efforts, and congratulations in earning your spot on the 4040 North Bay Business Journal. Cheers. Something I've learned from this incredible time we're in is how very little we need, how much we actually have, and the true value of human connection. I'm so proud of the community for continuing to stay positive, focused, and supportive. We're all in this together, and I look forward to reconnecting with all of you very soon. Well, congratulations, Allison. Thank you, Mark. And it's my pleasure to present the next award to Martin Hirsch, who's an attorney at Perry Johnson, Anderson, Miller, and Moskowitz in Santa Rosa. Congratulations, Martin. His practice consists of real estate and business transactions, including land use and H HOA representation. His greatest uh, professional challenge was, challenge was relocating to Santa Rosa 
after practicing for five years in San Diego, he had established a professional, he had to establish a professional network in Sonoma County after living in Southern California for nearly 15 years. And over the last seven years, he says he's met a lot of wonderful people, made some great friends and picked up some great clients too. I like to say, you know, a lot of places, you know, people in Sonoma County, they, they like to hug you, which we hopefully can get back to very, very soon. Uh, best advice received, you can catch more flies with honey than vinegar. And the thing he's most proud of over the last 12 months, he pr provided pro bono services to assist the Hopper Wall, that's in Coffee Park, uh, the uh, Hopper Wall Avenue Wall project in Coffee Park. The wall was testament to what a community can achieve when it pulls together. His next professional goal is to make partner at his firm. And what he wanted to do when he grew up was to play first base for the Giants, but this is just gonna have to be second best. So please congratulate Martin. And here's what he had to tell us. During shelter in place, I've had the opportunity to watch Frozen 2 with my daughter countless times. And there's a really good message in that movie that I think applies to these crazy times, which is to do the next right thing. There are so many issues connected to this that are out of our control, but we can control our actions. And I've decided to adopt the Frozen 2 credo and do the next right thing. Well, that's, that's a good thing. Congratulations. Great message, Martin. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, up next, we uh, congratulate Amy Holter. She is the Director of Integrative Programs at Catholic Charities in Santa Rosa. She oversees all services that are integrated across various program departments. These include program administration, data and systems, diversion and coordinated entry, food, health and education programs, and connections to external continuums of care. She says the best place to work outside of her office is her kitchen because snacks make everything better. When she grew up, she said she wanted to uh, be a teacher. And uh, the number one thing that she wants to accomplish by the time she turns 40 is smoothing pathways for people experiencing homelessness and other forms of trauma to overcome adversity and owning her own home as well. Her favorite after work drink is uh, gin and tonic. We're gonna hear from Amy right now and she even has a guest along with her. Amy, take it away. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and I'm here with Kim who's a resident at one of our temporary COVID-19 shelters through Catholic Charities. Especially at times like these, her voice is more important than mine. We thank the community for keeping our most vulnerable safe we can flatten the curve and stay positive. We know you can too. Woo! Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Amy. And thank you for your service to the community out there taking care of the, of the most vulnerable during a very difficult time. So once again, congratulations. Thank you, Ken. So it's my pleasure to present the next uh, award to our fifth district supervisor in Sonoma County and vice chair of the board of the supervisors. Uh, Linda Hopkins. Congratulations to Linda. Uh, the 5th District encompasses the West County, uh, in, including the entire Sonoma County coast, the Lower Russian River, Sebastopol, and the West and Southwest Santa Rosa areas extending to Highway 101. With her husband Emmett, uh, Hopkins uh, started Foggy River Farm, a diversified organic farm on the Hopkins family property. And according to her biography, Foggy River Farm is a family-run, community-oriented farm whose mission is to grow food that is good for our souls, our bodies, and the land. The farm's community-supported agriculture program feeds over 75 families, and you can also find their produce at farmers markets, restaurants around the county, and Foggy River is entering its ninth, ninth full season. Uh, Linda attended Stanford University, focusing on coastal land use and environmental sciences. That's that little university you go to when you, when you don't get into San Jose State, right? So um, if she earned a, a Bachelor of Science degree um, through the Oceans Track on the Earth Systems Program. So please join me in congratulating Linda Hopkins. Here's the message she has for us today. Hi, this is Linda Hopkins, and I am so grateful today to be honored as part of North Bay Business Journal's 40 Under 40. 
but I'm actually even more grateful to have the opportunity to live and work in Sonoma County. Over the past three years here, we've been through fires and floods and fires again together, which means we've literally gone through hell and high water and nothing has stopped us so far. We've got community caring, we've got creativity, and we've got resilience, and that is what is going to get us through the COVID-19 pandemic. In the weeks and months to come, we're going to reinvent our economy, reinvent our society, and get through this together, even as we stay socially distant. I know we can do this. We've got this, Sonoma County. Congratulations, Linda. Over to you, Ken. Okay, thank you, Brad. Uh, our next uh, awardee is uh, Channing Hussey. She is a uh, principal director of operations at Private Ocean Wealth Management in San Rafael. She's described as a decisive and collaborative leader who has the proven ability to drive company growth through innovative people and culture management, operational process implementation, and strategic initiatives. Uh, she says her uh, greatest professional challenge is inspiring greatness out of people to achieve greater than they believed they could do. Uh, her single most important event in her professional life in the past 12 months was making partner at uh, Private Ocean Wealth Management. Uh, she's involved in a number of community and nonprofit activities, including the uh, Junior League of San Francisco. She's on the board of directors there, and she's uh, the nominating chair for the Marina Community Association Board of Directors and uh, Secretary of Leadership San Francisco. Uh, she says uh, what she once wanted to be when she grew up is president, and since she's under 40, we know there's still time for that to uh, actually occur. So we wish her well with that because she got her start pushing uh, grocery carts at Albertsons. So she's moved uh, right, right up there, and uh, she has some uh, special words to share with us now. Hi everyone, thank you so much for this fantastic acknowledgement. In times like these, it's even more important to stay focused on supporting our local communities, our office colleagues, and clients alike. At Private Ocean, we're giving back in meaningful ways and leaning on the amazing culture we've built over the years to get it done. The ripple effect that comes from staying positive and supporting each other, first as people, and then coworkers and clients, cannot be understated. We choose to be resilient and show strength through all of this. Thank you again to the North Bay Business Journal and everyone at Private Ocean for making this all possible. Well, congratulations and thank you, Ken uh, Channing. Congratulations for that. Next, I'd like to introduce uh, Carmen Sinajani, who's a partner at Spalding, McCullough and Tansel, present the next award. Welcome to Carmen. Hi, my name is Carmen Sinajani. I'm a partner with the law firm of Spalding, McCullough, and Tanzel, and I've had the pleasure of working with Katie Jeffrey. Katie's law practice focuses on assisting individuals and families with their trust and estate needs. More simply, Katie is helping people plan for the future. To do this well, Katie has developed a strong background in tax law, real property law, and business law. She also has the great skill of bringing an open mind and a kind heart. It is why Katie is a rising star with our legal community and has quickly garnered a reputation for providing excellent legal services. Katie's caring disposition is also demonstrated by her close relationship with her children, Tanner and Maggie, her spouse, Nick, and her extended family, including her parents who moved from Southern California to be closer to Katie and her young family. Katie speaks fondly of her first mentor, who she describes as an incredibly smart woman, a very successful attorney, and a wonderful mother to her two young children. Her mentor emphasized the absolute importance of excellence at work, but never hesitated to put family first when necessary. We know that Katie will pass these lessons on as she herself becomes a mentor. Because of who she is and because of who we know she will be, we are thrilled that Katie has received this 40 Under 40 Award. Hi, my name is Katie Jeffrey and I'm an attorney at Spalding, McCullough and Tansel. During this pandemic, I have been inspired by the resourcefulness of our communities to overcome the limitations of our physical separation through innovative uses of technology. Technology has allowed us to stay safe at home without losing contact to the outside world. Well, congratulations, Katie. Thank you, Carmen. So over to you, Ken, for the next award. All right. Uh, and this is uh, our second winemaker 
of the day who is receiving a 40 under 40 award and it's maggie cruz who is the winemaker at jordan vineyard and winery in healdsburg she oversees all aspects involving the crafting of the alexander valley cabernet sauvignon and the russian river chardonnay from grape to bottle uh, her greatest professional accomplishment she says is working my way up to being named head winemaker at a company that i love she says her greatest professional challenge is learning how to give bad news. Well, there's a challenge for a lot of us, I would say there. A typical day at the office she describes as uh, being rarely the same, and that's what she loves. Sometimes I start my day at the winery, sometimes in a vineyard, or even on the road working to sell our wines. And when asked uh, how her mom and dad brag about her and what they say about her most, she said, well, mostly it's the fact that I get a discount on wine at most wineries. So that's a good thing to be bragged about, I would say. And uh, Maggie had some other thoughts to share with us. Let's take a listen to them now. Hi, I'm Maggie Cruz, and I have to say what I've been most impressed by throughout this entire shelter in place uh, is really the creativity that people have come up with, whether it's teachers doing TikTok videos to relate to their students or coming up with all kinds of new, fresh and lessons plans at home to keep them engaged and excited, or even businesses. Here at Jordan, we've been doing a lot of virtual tours and tastings, and it's important for people at home to be having that wine and engaging with us, and we need human contact, even if it is virtually right now. And it really makes us realize that we're all in this together. All right. Nice. Thanks, Maggie. Well, Back to you, Brad. <laughs> congratulations, Maggie. Thank you, Ken. And it's now my distinct pleasure to present the next award to Francesco Lecce Chong, who is the music director for the Santa Rosa Symphony here in Santa Rosa. And as music director, Francesco serves as the primary conductor for the Santa Rosa Symphony. Uh, conducting orchestra in rehearsals and concerts, of course, and is responsible for programming all the music that the orchestra performs, classical, family, community, education concerts. This includes guest soloists and conductors that uh, the symphony features uh, off and on. So his greatest professional challenge is changing the misperceptions that one, classical music is elite, that the listener needs to understand the music in order to appreciate it, you can spend a lifetime trying to understand the music and you just it just gets deeper and deeper. And everyone is expected to like everything we perform. The Santa Rosa Symphony and our audience are a single welcoming community of music lovers enthralled by the unparalleled excitement and visceral power of a live orchestra. You only need to come once and you'll be caught up in it. His single most important event in this last 12 months as he made his conducting debuts with the San Francisco Symphony and the New York Philharmonic last year. The number one thing he wants to accomplish by the time he turns 40, some music directors have been invited to throw out the first pitch at their local baseball team, so throw out the pitch at a Giants game. And his favorite after work drink is Scotch Neat. And here's, uh, please welcome Francesco Lecce Chong, who's our symphony conductor here in Santa Rosa. Francesco. During times of crisis, the transformative and transcendent power of music becomes more important than ever. The Santa Rosa Symphony and I remain dedicated to bringing you the hope, comfort, and beauty of music in your homes for as long as it takes till we can be back in the concert hall together again. So Ken, if I could just interject here. Thank you, Francesco. So for our 40 under 40 winners, their spouses, all their friends and everything, the symphony is for everyone. It's a great night out. Uh, Francesco has brought world um, premiere uh, new composers uh, to our area, and they perform in one of the most beautiful uh, concert venues in the world. So, uh, so check it out. He's a very, I've seen him speak at least three different times, and I'll just quickly interject. After seeing him, I kept thinking, boy, I wish I'd studied music as a child so I could possibly play an instrument and be in the symphony with him conducting, because he's inspiring. Yeah. It's a terrific yeah. person. Great. Congratulations, Francesco. And we're going to hear a little bit more from him later on, so hang in there. That, uh, that sounds good. And uh, we're also very inspired to uh, congratulate uh, Kyle Lease. He's the uh, Vice President of Sales 
at uh, Vino Pro in Rohnert Park. He manages a team of sales managers, sales representatives, and recruiters across multiple office locations in California, Nevada, and uh, Arizona. He's responsible for all sales and revenue generation. His greatest professional accomplishment was becoming vice president of sales after starting as an entry-level salesperson just over five years ago. The best advice he feels that he has uh, received is to trust the process. His first job was working at a furniture store as a warehouse worker, and uh, his favorite book, Harry Potter. And uh, although uh, we don't have a video uh, from Kyle, he did leave us with this message. Uh, the message I do have at this time from my friends, colleagues, and community, it's an honor to be selected to this prestigious group of young professionals and to be recognized by the North Bay Business Journal in this way. I wanna thank Vino Pro, the wonderful winery partners, my colleagues and employees, and most of all, my family for the support over the years. I look forward to many more accomplishments together and we'll be delighted to watch those happen. Congratulations to Kyle. Thank you, Ken. Congratulations, Kyle. So next I'd like to, to welcome Andy Ramos, who's the Senior Vice President of Member Engagement and Member Experience at Redwood Credit Union to present the next award. Hello, I'm Andy Ramos, and I'm excited to present a 40 Under 40 Award to Alma Mayagun on behalf of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and Redwood Credit Union. Alma is a positive force in our local Hispanic community and has worked tirelessly to help others, both in her job at RCU and as the Vice President of the Sonoma County Hispanic Chamber. In her role as Hispanic Chamber Vice President, she takes time to participate in all committees that help support the Chamber's mission. For years, she has supported the Chamber's Young Professionals Network, providing guidance and mentorship to up-and-coming young leaders. She also represents Sonoma County at the California Hispanic Chambers for the North Bay. Most recently, she's been the driving force behind the Consume, a local initiative bringing awareness to businesses impacted by COVID-19. Alma joined RCU in 2010 and has built a successful career serving our members in our member service center, first as a member service representative and now as an assistant manager. Alma is passionate about what she does. She loves seeing the difference she and her team makes in the lives of our members. I'd like to thank the North Bay Business Journal for recognizing Alma and the other impressive young leaders. We need their commitment and drive more than ever to help restore our county to a healthy place to live and work. Congratulations, Alma. I can't wait to see the great things you'll do next. I would like to give my community a heartfelt thank you. I am proud to be part of a community that understands the importance of giving back. And I'm very fortunate to be part of an organization such as the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce that in partnership with other organizations, we have found creative ways to continue to support our local businesses. And for this, I'm thankful to each and every one of you. De todo corazón, gracias. Well, thank you, Andy, and congratulations, Alma. It's my uh, pleasure to present the next award to Jake Martini, who's the Director of Operations at Taft Street Winery in Sebastopol. Congratulations, Jake. He oversees all winery operations as well as accounting and financial management. The best advice he's received is if, if it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes being upset about it. And the single most important event in your professional life is a family company. It was incredibly exciting to welcome my son, Zachary, into the world. His uh, best place to work outside his office is a tasting room patio, sounds rather nice. And what he wanted to be when he grew up, a doctor. Well, uh, you know, you, you, what do you say? Penicillin will cure you, but wine will make you happy. So congratulations <laughs> to Jake. Here's what he had to say. Just like every generation that has come before us, our current generation has had the opportunity to build a deep wall of resilience. We've witnessed a terrorist attack on our country. We've seen the dot-com bust. We've endured a housing bubble, a debt crisis, and the Great Recession. Now that we're faced with an unprecedented health and economic crisis, it's this resilience that provides us the optimism that we can survive this as well. It's an honor to be included in this 40 under 40 cohort. And I look forward to seeing how we as a community continue to find resilience in the face of uncertainty. Well, congratulations, Jake. So over, over to you, Ken. 
Great. Thank you, Brad. Our next uh, awardee is Dan Peterson, the Chief Executive Officer at Sutter Santa Rosa Regional Hospital in Santa Rosa. Dan oversees all operations for an 88-bed general acute care hospital, an outpatient infusion center, surgical clinics, and a family medicine residency program. He's responsible for a $300 million operating budget and over 1,000 employees. His greatest professional challenge, he said, was overseeing the evacuation and timely repopulation of Sutter Lakeside Hospital uh, up in Lakeport during the 2018 Mendocino Complex fires. Single most important event in your professional life in the last 12 months was being fortunate enough to be selected for my current job with Sutter Health, the company I would choose to work for over any other in Santa Rosa a community I would choose to work in over any other. Uh, his hobbies, he says, include playing with my kids, reading with my kids, going skiing with my kids, playing basketball with my kids, oh, and taking my wife out to dinner. Very important to slip that in there. Nicely done, Dan. And uh, his first job was painting houses and decks, and his last vacation was on a Disney cruise, and he has these good thoughts to share with us today. Hi, I'm Dan Peterson. I started work here at Sutter Santa Rosa Regional Hospital at the beginning of February. As you can imagine, there's really no better time to start a new job at a new hospital than at the beginning of a global pandemic. So while it's been a, a serious challenge to deal with everything going on, um, it's also been a great opportunity for me to get to know the members of my team and the incredible people that work here with me and that I have the privilege of working with. So during this time, I feel very fortunate to surround myself with uh, the most incredible people both personally and professionally. Well, thank you, Ken, and congratulations, Dan and, and Sutter. Uh, our next recipient is Dave Reardon, who's Director of Operations of Centric General Contractors in St. Helena. He's responsible for the day-to-day -day management of their field and office staff to complete projects across the North Bay and San Francisco. His uh, most uh, greatest professional accomplishment was completing a highly complex politically challenged urban construction projects with a happy community and even happier client at the end. Boy, if you can achieve that, that's terrific. And single most important event in your professional life in the last 12 months was overseeing the successful acquisition of another company to grow our employees by more than 40%. Favorite book, Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. Yeah, he says it's the closest thing he will get to climbing Mount Efforts. So please welcome uh, and congratulate Dave uh, Riordan. Here's what he had to tell us. What have you learned from this incredible time we are in? I've learned the importance of keeping communication open with the entire company during this COVID crisis. This has forced us to come up with new and creative ways to bring our employees together by bringing, bringing in new technologies, but still communicating on a personal level. The results have actually brought the company closer over this time and implemented things that we will continue post COVID. Well, congratulations, Dave. So over to you, Ken. Great, thank you. And uh, next we congratulate uh, Eric Sangravasi, who is the Director of Partner and Community Ministries at Redwood Gospel Mission in Santa Rosa. Eric's department is responsible for outreach events, fundraising, direct mail programs, media website, volunteers, essentially anything related to their financial partners and community partners. His greatest professional challenge, he says, was I think with any leadership position, one of the biggest challenges is to put yourself aside and help others to grow. He lists his greatest professional accomplishment as the nomadic shelter, which is a shelter that is at a different church each night. This ministry creates a platform for churches to minister to homeless guests at their church. His uh, mentor and most admired business person, actually there are two that he lists, Jeff Gilman, Executive Director at Redwood Gospel Mission, and Tom Gaffey at the uh, Phoenix Theater. And uh, a typical day at the office, he says the days never go as planned, but at the end of the day, I'm blessed to serve in an amazing ministry. I get to see lives transformed daily. Uh, his last vacation was to Disneyland, and uh, Eric has these thoughts to share with us. 
Hi, this is Eric Sangervasi with Redwood Gospel Mission. I'd like to say congratulations to all the other recipients of the North Bay Business Journal 40 Under 40. I know for me personally, it's been a big encouragement during this time and it really truly is an honor to be a recipient. I wish I can get together with all of you guys and celebrate together, um, but I know God has a purpose and plan for this time frame. So blessings to all and thank you. Well, congratulations, Eric, and thank you, Ken. I should say we have about 10 recipients to go. So thank you everyone um, for being with us. And we've got a special thing at the end. Uh, our next recipient is Nicole, Nicole Scheido. She is the Senior Human Resources Director at Amy's Kitchen in Santa Rosa. Congratulations to Nicole. She works closely with Amy's uh, HR leaders to develop strategies that support the overall aim of their people and organization. Their greatest uh, accomplishment is working abroad and leading a global team. And in the last 12 months, she redesigned her manufacturing organization to better support its focus on employees. She comes from a hometown in rural Iowa. Her most disliked industry buzzword is natural. And she uh, wanted to be, when she grew up, an artist, designer, and psychologist. Her last vacation was in France. And I should say too that Amy's has been such a, a, a generous uh, donor to our community during this time, 150,000 meals to food banks and 10,000 uh, masks to uh, Sutter Hospital during this time. So a great company to have in our community and a, a great member of that company, Nicole Scheidel. Congratulations, here's what she had to say. Hi, Nicole Scheidel. The question I'm answering for the video submission is how will the pandemic change life as we know it? I believe there will be a natural alternative to the handshake, possibly the Japanese bow. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Very much appreciate it and very good insight. We're gonna have to develop uh, alternatives. Nicole, congratulations. Over to you, Ken. Oh, actually, excuse me. Uh, uh, next up, I want to introduce uh, Dr. N uh, Naveen Kumar, who's the physician in chief at Kaiser Permanente at uh, San Rafael Medical Center, and he's actually a forter, former 40 under 40 recipient, and he will present the next two awards. So please welcome Dr. Naveen Kumar. Good evening. I'm Dr. Naveen Kumar, physician in chief at the Kaiser Permanente San Rafael Medical Center. I'm also a former 40 under 40 award winner, although that was many years ago. It's been a while since I've been under 40. And it is my great pleasure tonight to introduce to you two award winners. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. Emily Porch. She's the chief of the Department of Mental Health at Kaiser Permanente in Santa Rosa. Emily is responsible for the delivery of outpatient and inpatient mental health services and addiction medicine services at Kaiser Permanente in Santa Rosa. She directly oversees 19 adult and child psychiatrists and leads a department of 90 therapists, managers, and support staff. She shares with us the best advice received. When she first became chief, a fellow leader said to her, you now have the ability to influence and improve care for thousands of people in our community. This is a privilege and an honor that should never be taken for granted. When she describes her mentor and admire, admired business people, she says that she admires both of her parents and their business careers. They each work their way up in their respective fields, gaining leadership roles to their own merit, dedication, and creativity. At the same time, they greatly valued the family unit and always provided for the family, even when there was very little money to spare. She describes what she wanted to be when she grew up, when she was a child. She wanted to be a classical musician or a movie director. Her favorite movie is No Country for Old Men, and her favorite app is Google Maps. I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to Dr. Emily Porch and thank her for everything she's doing for the mental health of our community. Congratulations. I've learned that our whole community, including healthcare workers and patients alike, can come together during times of crisis to keep one another safe. I've been amazed at how many patients are asking me how I'm doing just as much as I'm checking in on them. And I think it really shows the North Bay's community oriented spirit and our resilience. And it gives me hope that we'll be thriving even after COVID. It is my pleasure to introduce the next awardee, Dr. Peter Reedy, who's the chief of our skilled nursing 
Medicine Department at Kaiser Permanente in San Rafael. Peter oversees the medical care provided to Kaiser Permanente members at 20 skilled nursing facilities in Marin and Southern Sonoma counties. He provides direct clinical care for Kaiser Permanente members at Marin Post Acute in San Rafael and is also an active hospital medicine physician at the San Rafael Kaiser Permanente Medical Center. Peter describes his greatest professional challenge, planning for the future of healthcare delivery when the future of our healthcare system as a nation is very uncertain. And this is particularly true in the time of COVID. The best advice he ever received, never worry alone, voice your concerns. Problems are usually best solved with a team effort. His next professional goal, to help to formulate a better system to address the health needs of our aging population. What are his hobbies? He enjoys hiking with his dogs and playing with the six and eight year old sons and enjoying Marin County open space and beaches. Hopefully he'll be able to do that again soon. And I've met both of his sons and they are quite a handful, delightful kids. What, does he want to, what did he want to be when he grew up? A baseball player? Well. Physician's not a bad alternative. And what does his mom or dad brag most about him? The fact that their son is a doctor. I wanna extend my sincere congratulations to Dr. Peter Reedy for all of the tremendous work he does in taking care of our elderly population. Congratulations and thank you, Dr. Reedy. I have learned from this incredible time is that I'm surrounded by real life heroes. Working in healthcare and especially in the hospital and nursing home spaces, I've been absolutely blown away by the seemingly endless capacity for courage, compassion, selflessness, and innovation on the part of my fellow healthcare workers. Well, thank you, Dr. Kumar, and congratulations, Dr. Porch and Dr. Reedy. It's my pleasure to present the next award to Greg and Tanya Schramm, a couple. Uh, Greg is a wastewater department head and associate principal for Adobe Associates in Santa Rosa. And Tanya is a project manager and associate for Summit Engineering in Santa Rosa. Congratulations to them both. Greg says his greatest professional achievement is becoming a partner. And uh, Tanya's greatest professional accomplishment being promoted to associate. They're both on their way up. Their favorite uh, movie, The Three Amigos, and Tanya's favorite book, Pride and Prejudice by uh, Jane Austen. And boy, those are, are interesting dichotomy there. And her favorite after work drink, uh, Greg uh, likes an IPA and Tanya likes uh, Sauvignon Blanc or a Chardonnay. They recently went to Maui and, and Oahu. And the second half of their trip, they went to the Alani Disney Resort. So congratulations to Greg and Tanya. Here's what the message they had for us here today. It is a pleasure to receive this award. A bit of a bright spot during this surreal time that we're going through. I am amazed and impressed by how quickly businesses, especially ours, are adapting to the shelter in place orders. It feels as though within a blink of an eye, we have transformed to working remotely as if it's the only way to work. I'd also like to add that it's so great spending so much quality time together as a family. Like we're together all the time now, like. All, all the, the time. time. <laughs> also, we should add, make sure that you support your local businesses. Well, congratulations, Greg and Tanya. And yes, we're all uh, uh, improving our relationships, spending a little bit more time together. So congratulations again, over to you, Ken, for the next award. So Ken, uh, we're not hearing your sound. 
Oh, that's because I pushed the little red button that makes that okay. go away. All okay, right, we're, now we're going to go back. Okay. Let's just now we're going to say congratulations to Teresa Scott. I've now practiced this. I'm getting pretty good at saying her name. She's the workforce health supervisor, at employer and community relations at uh, St. Joseph Health in uh, Northern California. Her office is here in Santa Rosa. She's responsible for developing and implementing community outreach programs to promote worksite wellness, preventative health, and disease management through primary care, health education, and healthcare navigation. Her greatest professional accomplishment, she says, is helping a member of the community get into care and manage their life-threatening high blood pressure. Best advice received, speak your mind and stand up for what you believe in. And her next professional goal is implementing a portal for web-based health education services. And uh, her uh, most admired business person, Clara Barton, the founder of the American Red Cross. Originally, she thought when she grew up, she was going to become a country singer, but uh, she's doing very good work in the community uh, instead. And uh, the number one thing she wanted to accomplish by the time she turns 40 is getting her master's in public health. She had some additional thoughts to share with us. Let's listen to Teresa now. Hi, everybody. What I have been experiencing and I'm truly grateful for is the extra human connection, mainly virtually right now, calling, video chatting with friends, family, neighbors, colleagues, who we might not regularly speak with on a daily or weekly basis checking in, making sure that people are healthy and well, both mentally and physically, and have what they need during these hard times. Well, congratulations, uh, Teresa, and thanks so much, uh, Ken. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Stephen Skinner, who's an advisor with Keegan and & Copen Company in Santa Rosa. He, uh, his greatest professional accomplishment was jumping into the deep end of commercial real estate and I've been, he's been able to hit the ground running and quickly learn the mechanics to complete successful transi uh, transactions. His, um, his best advice received, if you don't answer, if you don't ask the uh, question, the answer is always no. If you don't take a step forward, you will always be in the same spot. And if you don't go after what you want, you will never have it. So he's proud to uh, have been nominated for this award and to receive it. Typical day at the office is to show up and make calls. His favorite book, Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, anything that he can read to his little girl. So congratulations to uh, Stephen Skinner. Here's what he had to say. Hey, very excited to be selected as a top 40 under 40. I think with everything that's going on right now, the best thing you can do is try to get all the data and evaluate your options, especially as it relates to real estate. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Fantastic. Over to you, Ken. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next up, Christopher Van Eyes, the operations manager and general counsel, Limo USA, and uh, general counsel, Northwire Incorporated in Rohnert Park. As operations manager, Christopher oversees the strategy, execution, and alignment of business processes associated with manufacturing, engineering, production, purchasing, uh, planning, shipping, receiving, warehousing, and uh, facilities. And as general counsel, a role which spans two corporations, he oversees the legal context of each organization. Best advice received, take a deep breath. And boy, aren't we all doing that uh, these days. His uh, mentor, most admired business person, Farhad Kashani, the president of Limo Americas. Farhad's background is a blend of engineering and business, and I've watched him excel across all disciplines. His hobbies include spending time with his family, their two dogs, studying law, business programming, and languages, because the number one thing he wants to accomplish by the time he turns 40 is to learn Mandarin or French. So, uh, or perhaps a mixture of both. Sounds like a great idea. And he shared some other thoughts with us as well. Christopher, let's hear from you. In my role as operations manager and general counsel for Limo USA, I've been truly inspired by how quickly our company has adapted, transforming our organization overnight so that it can continue to meet the needs of the greater healthcare system, even during this time of unprecedented obstacle. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Ken. And uh, our next award winner 
my privilege to honor Daniel Wilson, who's a partner at Anderson Ziegler in Santa Rosa. He uh, represents clients on a wide range of things, such as civil uh, lit uh, litigation. He also uh, has various uh, internal firm management duties, uh, in including managing the firm's electronic and paper research library. His uh, single most important event, in the professional event in the last 12 months was being promoted to partner. And it's now improved his uh, meaningful, rec it's a, a meaningful recognition of the quality of his work and his relationships with his clients. Best advice received, keep calm and carry on. Take your work seriously, but not yourself. YOLO, you only live once. What he wanted to be when he grew up was a novelist, pilot, and professor. Well, lawyers, close. And his first job was at Barnes & Noble. So please join me in congratulating Daniel. Here's what he had to tell us. What COVID-19 has taught me is the world can change in a heartbeat and you have to be flexible and you can't get too attached to any way of thinking or any way of being or any way of working. Um, and you need the serenity to accept things that are you know, beyond your control. I love that thought, the serenity to, yes. to accept things. Over to you, Ken, for the next award. Congratulations. Thank, yes, and thank you. Uh, next is uh, Susan Witherell, who is the Director of IT Services at Mengali Accountancy in Healdsburg. Susan oversees all technical operations, including, but not limited to, server systems and network security, direct and support software and hardware maintenance, as well as implementation of software and hardware upgrades. Single most important event in her professional life in the past 12 months was facilitating the full migration of all our data to upgraded virtual servers with minimal impact and downtime for our team and our clients. It was actually one of the most satisfying accomplishments of my career to date. Mentor and most admired business person, no surprise here, her boss, Renee, being a part of the Mengali team since its earliest years has given me a true perspective of the extensive scale in which this firm grew from her initial dream to the distinguished firm we are now. The number one thing that Susan would like to accomplish by the time she turns 40 is to travel to Europe. Her favorite after work drink is a Salt Point Greyhound. And on her last vacation, she spent 10 days in Disney World last May with her husband and the kids. And now she has some thoughts to share with us. Hi, I'm Susie Witherell, and something I've learned from these incredible times we're in is really to adjust the way I approach sharing my technical knowledge to make things a little simpler and have even more patience and understanding than usual with who I'm working with. And I think we could all really benefit from having a little extra patience and understanding with each other during these extraordinary times. Well, thank you, Ken. Congratulations, Susan. Boy, have we needed our IT people uh, in these last couple of months, and they've risen to the occasion. Thank you again, and congratulations. Next, I'd like to present uh, the award to Michael Zelda, who's an audit partner at Moss Adams in Santa Rosa. We don't have a video of Michael, but I can tell you a little bit about him. He leads the manufacturing and consumer products practice in Northern California. He uh, co-leads the Moss Adams Path to Success program in Northern California, whereby senior managers and managers are given enhanced career planning and mentoring with a clear line of sight for their future with the firm. And in addition, Michael works closely with the leader of Moss Adams China practice, supporting, uh, providing assurance support for companies doing business in China. Uh, his greatest professional accomplishment is being a partner at Moss Adams. And then as well as next professional goal, uh, this July is to take over the role of leading their assurance department in the North Bay. And what he wanted to be when he grew up, an accountant and he made it. And even though his first job was an appliance salesman at Circuit City, congratulations uh, to Michael on receiving this award. So Ken, over to you for the next, oh, no, actually, uh, I'm gonna introduce Ann Hudson, who's the Senior Vice President of Retail Banking for Exchange Bank to present the next award. Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce and congratulate our superhero, Cassandra Zorn, Assistant Vice President and Retail Operations Officer for Exchange Bank. Cassandra is responsible for retail operations for our branch network and the evolution of our operating model. 
She's a change maker and uses that superpower to help position the bank for the future. Cassandra is also a mother to a wonderful seven-year-old daughter, Violet. Cassandra shared in her bio that her next professional goal is both professional and personal. She put it this way, every day I want to set the example of a strong professional woman both at work and at home for my employees and my daughter. As someone who's had the pleasure of working closely with Cassandra on a daily basis, she does just that. She's calm, reassuring, caring, and has a quiet confidence that lets you know it's going to be all right. Her incredible superpowers are so needed in this time of our history. I want to congratulate her and thank her for helping to save our planet. Cassandra, thank you to infinity and beyond. Hi, this is Cassandra Zorn, Retail Operations Officer at Exchange Bank. I wouldn't say this experience has been easy or magical. The hard days have been a real struggle, but there are more and more good days where I'm learning to let go, let my daughter eat cereal for breakfast and lunch, play outside in her PJs at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. I'm also trying to focus on the good things like sunny days and a healthy family. Well, thank you so much, Ann, and I love the message that Cassandra had about uh, maybe, hey, we can just eat cereal for breakfast and lunch, <laughs> right? Not bad, not bad. The main, yeah. the main thing is to, is to keep our families together and, and happy. So once again, uh, thank you, uh, Ken, for and our other presenting sponsors. We have one more video to show you, uh, so please hold on for just a minute. But before that, I want to thank our sponsors, Kaiser Permanente, Redwood Credit Union, Sonic, and Spalding, McCullough, and Tansel. Thank you to them. And of course, our underwriter here for our 40 under 40 virtual live, whatever it is. Thank you so much uh, to Exchange Bank. And by the way, this will be posted uh, to our website. And Ken, I just turn to you. Any, any closing uh, inspirations or thoughts? Well, it's just great to hear the inspirational thoughts that so many of our uh, award winners had uh, to share with us and just that over uh, overall feeling of optimism that uh, they both uh, represent and uh, obviously are acting on. We're delighted to have them uh, as part of the long roster now of over 500, uh, 40 under 40 individuals that uh, have been saluted. Great. You're part of a part of a family of, of 40 under 40 winners and alums. So thank you once again. Uh, congratulations to our winners and thank you, Ken. So now uh, something special from our Santa Rosa Symphony maestro, Francesco Lecce Chong. And by the way, he, he did this somehow moving his fiance in an RV across the country. He was able to stop and do this for us. So it's a, it's a beautiful Robert Schumann piece translated from the German. The title is simply dreaming. So please play the, please play the video. Hello everyone. This pandemic has brought a lot of unusual circumstances to our lives. For me, I find myself uh, here sheltered in place in my childhood home in Boulder, Colorado. And one of the silver linings there is that I actually get to be with uh, the piano that I grew up playing on. And so it's been wonderful to kind of get reacquainted with it as well as with music that I used to play on this piano. One of these gorgeous pieces is this wonderful nostalgic work by Robert Schumann um, it's from a collection of pieces that he wrote called Scenes from Childhood. This is a movement called Traumerei, which means dream.
Well, the Santa Rosa Symphony and I will look forward to seeing you again just as soon as it's safe to do so back in the concert hall. But in the meantime, I hope this is a reminder for all of us to just make sure that on a daily basis, we find ways to keep beauty in our lives. Well, thank you again, everyone. Keep dreaming out there. We'll see you next year, 2021. Or not maybe before. in person. <laughs> yes, maybe even in person. So thank you again, everyone, for being with us. Congratulations to our recipients and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.